Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be all about my first year uni experience. This has been a video I've been wanting to film for absolutely ages and I had been all organised and written down so many points I wanted to talk about. However, I've gone and lost my notebook that I'd written all the points down in and my mind has gone blank. So it's a bit of an issue. <laughs> so yes, I'm just going to try and do my best and think and maybe like stop a bit and restart because yes, there's a lot, a lot to talk So first year of uni can be so, so scary and I know last year when I was about to go to uni, I was absolutely petrified and I looked up so many of these videos for help. Um, any video about university, the first year of uni I could find, I wanted to watch because I wanted to like know what to expect basically. So I thought this video would be super duper helpful. So the first thing I would say is before you go to university and when you know you're in, I would say just be super duper organised and get all of your necessities as soon as possible and be organised because that was my main thing. I wanted to be super duper organised and have everything in boxes because there's so much you have to actually take to uni. Bed, bed sheets, <laughs> photographs, you know, like all of your bathroom things, cute things that you want to take, kitchen stuff. There's so much. So I would say gather all that together, label boxes and have it all set out and ready for the big moving in day. That's like the super duper massive tip I've got for you because that is the main thing to be organised before you even go. So another thing I would say, which everyone says in these videos, is find your university on Facebook and get in the group for your course and get in the group for your block where you're going to be staying if you're moving into uni. This is mainly this video is going to be about moving into uni because I obviously moved away um, about three hours on a train. Yes. So I would say get in any Facebook group you can and talk to people. I was really bad at this and I did not talk to many people at all. So yeah, because I'm not a very confident person, I was not going to be the type to kind of comment on the Facebook one and be like, hi guys. <laughs> um, yeah, but other people did and I kind of commented on maybe one of those because obviously that was the one where it was people talking about the block they're in, where they're going to live and I was in that block, so I was like, oh my god, I need to speak to people. It's like so scary, but I did <laughs> in the end. Um, there was also a big group chat made for our block, which was block one. One. <laughs> I will try and insert a picture of our block, because I think I took one when we were leaving and we just moved out, and I think there's cry faces on it because I put it on Snapchat. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so we didn't know how many people we were living with at the beginning, um, maybe some people did, um, I did not, I hadn't got that information. So we had a big group one, like block one group chat, but we didn't really know who was going to be in what room and who was going to be in which floor. We didn't know how big group, how big block one was. It could have been five floors for all we knew. When we got there it was two little floors and there was eight girls downstairs and then there was nine of us upstairs. So there was, how many boys? four boys and the rest of us were girls in my my flat and obviously when you get there everyone's families are there and everyone's like say boyfriends and brothers are there so I was like who on earth is living in my flat like it was so confusing um so I would say just leave your door open and don't do what I did I just waited for people to come to me because I was so so nervous um, I was just unpacking and I just waited for people to come to me, which was so bad. That's just something I would do, you know. <laughs> I'm not very confident. So I would say just go and introduce yourself to people. My best friend Zoe, um, obviously I didn't know her at the time. She's my best friend now. <laughs> now. <laughs> that would have been weird. Um, anyway, she came and asked if I wanted tea. I declined, which don't do that. Always say yes. Always say yes. <laughs> I think she was deeply offended. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then she asked what I was going to wear on that night because obviously in freshers you go out. Um, and then two other girls, one girl came in and cried on me and the other girl also asked what I was wearing um, and asked about my makeup because I was packing that. And then the other girl that was in my flat I actually went to secondary school with so we kind of got on straight away um, and that was fine. Um, my mum actually introduced me to Zoe and that was in the kitchen. <laughs> I was like, hi. <laughs> it's a very awkward situation, but honestly, things move so quickly at uni, it's fine. Um, I can't actually remember any of the boys coming to introduce themselves. I think Matt probably did, but I can't actually remember that. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> so, it's 
a very, very big thing moving into somewhere with completely new people. As you probably know, that's probably why you're watching these videos and you're super stressed. Don't worry. Do not worry. If you don't drink, don't worry. There was a girl in my flat who didn't drink. She's absolutely fine with it. Like, well, she didn't drink a lot. <laughs> she does drink. Um, you don't have to drink at uni. Just go out with people. Just because you're not drinking doesn't mean you're not going to have a good time. Um, if people are going to the club on that night, don't be like, oh, I don't drink. I'm not going out that night. Like, Force yourself into situations. Try your best. Um, I knew at the beginning of uni that we were going to be clubbing. And clubbing makes my anxiety like go up to like here. And I hate those situations, to be honest. Um, but you just kind of have to push yourself. Even though it's really difficult. Um, even if you don't go out, just try and make the most of all the in-flat times. Um, because there's obviously lots of games going on and fun things like that. Um, I know for the first week of freshers, like there was only one week of freshers I think, um, we all had classes so we were very tired <laughs> already um, and also we didn't all want to go out, like a lot of the boys did go out every night but us girls and I think maybe Matt <laughs> um, did, <laughs> didn't go out every night, I think we went out once, twice literally, I think we only went out once on the first night and that was it. Who knows, um, I can't quite remember because all the whole week is a blur. We just got drunk and stayed in and played games in the first week, which was a great way to bond and we were like this in like no time. So in freshers we got a little wristband which got us into all of the places, I say all the places, there's about two places that are good in Carlisle really. There is not that many places that are good. There's a few more popping up right now and like we're kind of learning more about them but we all went to this club Concrete which is the only good club. Um, yes and it was like two for one drinks and stuff and it's all fun and fresh as everything's a bit cheaper. You get in for free with your little wristband um, and like you get a bar to a t-shirt. I think there was a bar to a one night. Um, they put things on and like quizzes and things. You don't have to go to them, even though the freshest people are quite pushy about you going. Um, but you don't have to. We didn't really go to that many, to be honest. Yes. Just try. <laughs> Do what everyone else is doing. <laughs> so I think that's it about kind of the first moving in bits. I would say really force yourself to go to your freshers classes if you have classes in freshers. Um, I had a bit of a different situation from everyone else. Um, basically, I'm was supposed to be doing primary education and if you know about primary education you'll know you have to do skills tests to get in. Um, I am not the best person with tests to be honest, never have been, <laughs> don't think I ever will be. Um, yeah so I failed and my university was like hey you're on your third, third try you can come and do classes in freshers week and you'll probably pass. It's like a massive percentage chance you will pass. We will do intense boot camp, they called it a boot camp. Um, and basically we sat from like nine to like five every day. Um, I think I skipped a few of the classes actually. <laughs> um, not only one or two, you know, cause I preferred to kind of sit and study in my room or like with my flatmates. Math was super duper helpful to help me revise. Um, I was one mark off my maths in the end and four marks off my English. Um, yes. So that was a bit of an issue. <laughs> I did not get onto the primary education course and I'd already mi missed a week of my classes. This is not a good position to be in. <laughs> a few of the other girls who I was with as well in that class also failed so we all went in together but even now I've not made like clicks, like a clicky, I've not really made friends with those people in my course. I'm not a big fan of my course. Um, I do have some friends in my course obviously but they're mainly from that skills test thing. Um, some of the girls as well who are lovely obviously um, but I just haven't been able to speak to everyone and I feel like we missed out a lot on that first week of freshers. Um, yeah, we just did. So yeah, I'm not a massive fan of my course but it's going to lead to where I want to be which is in the end a teacher. Um, and my course is education studies if you didn't know. Um, so we do all about kind of government policies. Um, the national curriculum. We do safeguarding and things like that which I love, I find so interesting. So there is parts of my course which I love and other parts that I hate but I feel like that's going to be with most courses. Homesickness, that is a big thing. Um, my experience was that I was quite homesick but then I also was having such a ball um, and you kind of 
don't realise how homesick you are and then it kind of sinks in on the night. I remember like, cr this sounds so sad, I remember crying myself to sleep some nights and being like, ah, but then like when I was with everyone I was like, oh my god this is so good and it was so good, it's just when you get in bed alone and you've not got your mum there to like go and talk to and be like, oh, <laughs> talk to about your day and like especially when you FaceTime your parents, that's a big thing like I used to end up like crying from that and people would be like you okay <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's just a mush I think a lot of people did in the first few weeks kind of get quite homesick I know a lot of people didn't um it just depends on your situation how far you are from home I know I was three hours on a train which I thought was far but then like Zoe might have to travel over the freaking sea to get home everyone's in a different situation but just because you're like an hour away from home or like six hours like everyone can be homesick so yeah I was quite homesick. Assignments. My experience with assignments are that <laughs> you do so well if you plan weeks before and really try and um, you don't do so well if you try and do it all in a day which at the beginning I was like oh I'm gonna super plan this essay and do this and do that and I did do quite well like the highest I got was 17 the lowest I got was 50 I think. Yes um, and the pass rate's 40 by the way. Um, yeah, so I never did awfully. Obviously those kind of 50% and like 60% came from me doing essays in a day and not like planning ahead. Um, I would just say try and enjoy where you are, being in halls. Focus on your work obviously, but don't be like super duper intense because in the first year most of the time it doesn't count. Um, so just try and like do your best and pass. But if you're not doing like amazingly in first year, do not worry, you'll get so many tips off your lecturers feedback and you can just use them next year when it actually does count. With some courses it's a lot more intense, like another primary education course was so much more intense than my course. Um, doesn't mean my course wasn't hard, it just means I wasn't in every day. I was in three days a week so I had two days off and yeah it was quite a chill, it's quite a chilled first year. I think next year I'm only in two days a week as well so my course is super duper chilled but we are expected to do work experience in schools and things like that. So there's always reasons why you're not in <laughs> or you've got a lot of work on studying to do. Okay so, yeah. so my other experience I want to talk about is being away from your uni friends. That is like so hard. I remember this time last year I was absolutely shitting myself about not making friends and now I'm finding it so hard this summer to be away from my uni friends. I'm going next week to Ireland, well Northern Ireland, Island, to see three of my really really good friends um, and catch up with them. I'm going for a week and I can't wait and I feel like I'm homesick from them, from my uni friends. It's a very very strange feeling. Um, you come home and you miss uni and you're at uni and you miss home. I feel like I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> it's very strange and I can't wait to be back at uni but then I know for a fact I will miss home when I'm back at uni as well. <sighs> it's very difficult <laughs> but it's so much fun like if you're wondering about going to uni and you're like worried don't be worried it's so so fun um yeah I loved living in halls at times when people were up and you had like lectures or like a big presentation to do the next day and people were awake and bouncing balls or you know knocking chairs over in the kitchen you'd kind of be like oh my god why do I live here <laughs> But it's so much fun, it is so much fun and you always have people to talk to. Not that I'm a very like talkative person but um, yeah you always have a friend there and even if you don't you always know they're going to come home soon and yeah it's just it is really really good being around people all the, all the time and not being told what to do by parents it's just great. Um, I had such a good experience in halls, I absolutely loved it and I was put with some lovely lovely people. Um, there was obviously a lot of drama, I think there's always going to be drama but I think there wasn't as much in our flat because it was mixed and there was all girls downstairs and there was always drama with them and then there wasn't really that much drama with us. Um, yeah, it just depends who you put with. We were very lucky that a lot of the people we were with were just absolutely lovely and were a great laugh and although at the end um, you kind of treat them like family and you're like, oh my god, you're so annoying, but then you love them really. Like it kind of is like that. Um, budgeting and funding and things like that is not something I'm great about talking about because I'm not great with money at all. Um, I'm not great at budgeting either, I tend to spend my money pretty quickly and I'm not great with it so eh, it's not something I'm great about talking about so if you want to hear about funding and things go to someone else's channel. Also another big thing at uni is you pretty quickly have to decide who you want to be living with next year in year two, um, like the second year. 
you've got to pretty quickly decide who you want to live with and try and find a house pretty quickly. Um, we did, so I'm living with Matt and Zoe, um, who are great, great people. I love them to bits. <laughs> and I'm very happy that I still love them to bits because some people do not love their flatmates to bits and they haven't even moved in yet. Um, choose carefully, that's all I would say. Um, I think we knew straight away we wanted to live together. And also go and look at houses pretty quickly as well. As soon as you hear other people start to, you know, I'm sure we went to look about like Christmas time. I think we were looking on the website like earlier than that as well. Um, it might have been earlier than Christmas, I don't even know. Yes, um, look for houses pretty early because the good ones go quickly and we were lucky we found quite a good one. Um, however, when I moved my stuff in, it wasn't great because it wasn't clean um, but hopefully they'll have cleaned it for when we move in. Um, I might do a moving in day vlog, moving in vlog, moving in day vlog, mm -hmm, maybe. <laughs> um, I haven't decided yet because that day will be quite stressful. Not as stressful as my first ever day at uni though, like my first ever moving in into halls. It'll be much more chill this one. So I'll see. Anyway, so I really hope I've covered everything. I most likely haven't because I've completely lost my notebook that I had all my notes in. Um, yes, but hopefully I've covered everything. If not, comment below and I will try and give you any advice or my experience or whatever. If you want any more uni videos, just let me know because I love doing uni videos. Talking is one of my main things I love to do, especially about uni, because I've had lots of different experiences and yes. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you want any other videos to do with university or any makeup tutorials because they're obviously my favourite ones to film. I'm a very makeup orientated person. <laughs> um, yes, I really hope you enjoyed everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!